Okay. Uh, you know, just first thing, obviously, I know you guys are going to want to ask about it is Marcus. And um, I don't have any information uh, for you guys uh, except that he's being evaluated at the hospital right now. We're running some tests on him. And we're um, – well, I don't have any information in terms of, you know, what the prognosis or diagnosis is. Obviously, he took an incredibly hard fall. He was in extraordinary pain, uh, and we're hopeful and uh, praying for great news, the best news possible, and a speedy recovery. Uh, but more than that, I don't have any information. Uh, you guys switched your zone in the second half without Marcus. Why do you think it was so effective? I thought our guys were incredibly active in it. Um, you know, in man, we, we we didn't do what we wanted to do in the first half. I mean, we started the game pretty well, and then um, we we had some breakdowns when we we put some different lineups in, and we were never able to gain uh, any traction with our man after the first eight minutes of the first half. Uh, in the second half, obviously, we we felt like we needed to go to something new. Uh, we knew that uh, we weren't going to have Marcus and that Greg and Andrew were in extraordinary foul trouble uh, with three fouls apiece coming into the second half. So um, we wanted to try something different. And to our guys' credit, uh, they made it work. I thought our guys were really active. Um, I thought when we were able to string a few stops together, we got more confident in it. And that led to even increased activity. And that was uh, – Obviously, a huge part of the game. Uh, you mentioned the foul trouble. I don't remember when Andrew got his fourth foul, like sometime early in the second half. Um, how did you just decide when to, t to take him out, or you left him in mostly the, the second half? Well, yeah. I mean, we have two primary ball handlers, and you know, Greg will eventually be that, but he's playing with uh, an injured thumb, um, so we had to roll the dice. And a lot of sometimes when you roll the dice, it doesn't work. Tonight it worked. And we felt like in the zone, we trusted Andrew to be smart, not to foul. We continued to remind him of his foul trouble. And he did a, he did a good job of playing without fouling. So we needed him in the game to win it. And we couldn't afford to have him on the bench even for one possession. Yeah, we challenged the guys to figure out a way to win the game and that, you know, we were going to have unusual lineups. We obviously had adversity, uh, but we couldn't make excuses. We had to figure out how to make the plays necessary to win the game. And offensive rebounds were one of those plays. And to get 20 second chance points was, was really good. Um, but there were a number of plays on the defensive end, on the offensive end, where our guys willed it in the face of playing a great team that's extraordinarily well coached uh, and some adversity on our side. How important was it in the second half to kind of just keep sort of, it was obviously important to make shots, but in a game like that to keep kind of the momentum going on your side, like if you sense that your guys kind of maybe snowballing your way, um, uh, <coughs> kind of making the shots and putting pressure on them? Yeah, you know what? I thought our guys gained confidence from our zone on the defensive end. So when we got stops, when we get stops, we're a pretty good offensive team. Uh, our problem this year has been getting enough stops. Um, but our, the thing that I loved tonight was our guys were incredibly poised. I mean, this is as good a place to play as there is in the Big East. I mean, their crowd and fans are incredible. Um, and our guys were poised, you know, with all that had transpired in the first half, uh, starting the second half down 12, you know, a lot of teams would have packed it in. And our guys showed incredible toughness and incredible poise throughout the second half and put us in a position to win. And fortunately, we were able to make a few plays there at the end to, to do it. Uh, so Carr seemed to have gained a lot of confidence offensively the last uh, three or four games. What have you? What kind of growth have you seen out of him? I've seen tremendous growth out of Sakar. I think five out of the last six games, he's been in double figures. Um, I think he's averaging over double figures over that five-game span. And he's shooting at a really high percentage. And obviously, tonight was his best game of the season. Um, and, you know, because people pay so much attention to Marcus and Andrew and Sam, it opens up other things for other guys. And 
uh, I think Sakar took great advantage of him, uh, those opportunities. The other thing is I think we're at our best when Andrew is a guy who is distributing. You know, having eight assists, one turnover, you know, he trusted the other guys to make plays. And when a guy who's a key guy for you makes the right play in terms of the pass, it gives other guys confidence. And I think Sakar played with great confidence tonight.